This car never stops. It doesn't need gas, solar panels, or a charging cord. According to its Zimbabwean inventor, it runs forever on one of the most abundant resources on the planet, radio waves. It's a claim that could shatter our reliance on fossil fuels and literally change the world. But it's also a claim that seems to fly in the face of the fundamental laws of science. So, is this the greatest energy breakthrough in history? Or is it the most captivating hoax of our time? We're about to find out. Let's rewind to February 10th, 2025. The scene is Harare, Zimbabwe, where a vehicle called the Seth EV is being unveiled to the world. The place was buzzing with excitement. We're talking top government officials, even the president of Zimbabwe himself, Emerson Umningagwa, was there. And at the center of it all was the innovator Maxwell Chikambutso, making a series of absolutely astonishing claims. He announced that his car, the Seth EV, needed zero fuel and zero recharging. It was, he said, a self-powering electric vehicle that ran completely on the radio waves floating in the air around us. The specs he threw out there were unbelievable. An unlimited driving range, a top speed of 220 kilometers per hour, and of course, zero emissions. And if that wasn't enough, Chikambutso also claimed the car could work as a mobile generator, supposedly powerful enough to run an entire house with up to 15 kilowatts of energy. The news went viral. For many in Zimbabwe and across Africa, this felt like a turning point. It was a story of homegrown innovation that promised to solve huge problems, from crippling fuel costs to a lack of electricity. With the president's endorsement, it seemed like Zimbabwe was about to become a world leader in a revolutionary new technology. The promise was enormous. Energy independence, economic growth, and a cleaner planet, all sparked by one of their own. To really get why this story blew up, you have to understand the man behind it, Maxwell Sangulani Chikambutso. His journey is the ultimate underdog tale, and it captured the hearts of millions. Chikambutso is a school dropout who reportedly left formal education around the eighth grade. From there, he went down a path of self-education, teaching himself complex engineering and physics, driven by a relentless curiosity. His story is one of a visionary who defied all the odds. He said he started tinkering with scrap parts, and by 2009, he claimed he built the microsonic energy device, the secret sauce that supposedly turns weak radio waves into powerful, usable energy. This backstory was everything. It didn't frame Chikambutso as some corporate scientist in a sterile lab, but as a humble genius, a symbol of African ingenuity. His stated mission wasn't just to build a car, it was to free his continent from energy dependence and bring clean, cheap power to millions who live without it. It's a powerful and inspiring story that made people desperately want to believe. It was David versus Goliath, with an African innovator ready to take on the world's energy giants. So, how does a car supposedly run on thin air? The explanation from Chikambutso and his company, Seth Technologies, is all about that microsonic energy device. They use a simple analogy Think of a solar panel. But instead of collecting sunlight, this device supposedly collects energy from the radio frequency waves that are all around us, from Wi-Fi, TV broadcasts, and cell signals. According to the inventor, these waves, which are incredibly weak, are harvested and then massively amplified. Some have suggested the tech might use components that echo the century-old dream of Nikola Tesla, who also envisioned transmitting power wirelessly through the air. But Chikambutso claims that his own secret components are what make the impossible possible, turning tiny amounts of energy into something that can power a car. You have to admit, the idea is seductive. Radio waves are everywhere, all the time. If someone had finally cracked the code to tap into this endless, invisible ocean of energy, it would be the single greatest leap forward in human history. Free, clean, unlimited power for everyone. But here's where the story hits a brick wall. If this technology is real, it wouldn't just be revolutionary. It would completely upend more than a century of physics. The claims for the Seth EV run head-on into one of the most basic principles of our universe. The law of conservation of energy. Also known as the first law of thermodynamics, it simply says that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only changed from one form to another. A car that runs forever without an external fuel source is what's known as a perpetual motion machine. Something scientists have dismissed as fantasy for hundreds of years. 
And while you can technically harvest energy from radio waves, the amount available is minuscule. The power density is just way, way too low to do something like move a two-ton car, let alone power a house. To get enough juice, your collector would need to be the size of a small city. The scientific consensus is clear. A car running forever on ambient radio waves is, as far as we understand physics, impossible. This is the core reason why Chikambutso's patent applications have been rejected around the world. They classify his invention as a perpetual motion machine that breaks the laws of science. This is where the inspiring story of a world-changing breakthrough starts to look more like a carefully constructed illusion. As journalists and fact-checkers started digging, some major red flags popped up. First, the complete lack of independent verification. Despite all the grand claims, no credible third-party science or engineering team has ever been allowed to publicly test the technology. Secrecy is often explained away as protecting trade secrets, but in science, Extraordinary claims demand extraordinary proof. That proof has never been delivered. Then there was the government's quiet U-turn. After all the initial praise and the presidential photo ops, the Zimbabwean government seemed to slowly back away from the project. As scientific skepticism grew louder, social media posts from government accounts that celebrated the invention were reportedly deleted. This silent retreat was a huge blow to the project's credibility. But the most damning piece of evidence might have come from a simple reverse image search. Investigators quickly discovered that the revolutionary Seth EV wasn't a new car at all. It was visually identical to a Kai X3 Pro, a standard electric vehicle made in China. It looked like the car they showed off was just a rebadged version of an existing EV. And it didn't stop there. The so-called hypersonic energy device for homes? It looked exactly like a commercially available portable power station called a Browy. One journalist pointed out you could buy it on Amazon for a little over $100. Suddenly, the narrative of a genius inventor building a miracle from scrap parts began to crumble, replaced by allegations that he had simply rebranded existing products. So what do we make of all this? On one hand, you have a man who presented a vision so powerful it captivated a nation. On the other, you have a mountain of evidence suggesting the whole thing was an elaborate deception. Does that mean it's all a hoax? Or is there still something we're missing? I want to know what you think in the comments below. And if you're finding this investigation as fascinating as I am, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss what we uncover next. Section 6. The verdict putting the pieces of the Maxwell Chikambutso story together is complicated. You've got an incredibly powerful and inspiring narrative about African innovation, about defying the odds, and about the dream of a future free from fossil fuels. It's a story people wanted to believe in, and for good reason. The world needs a clean energy revolution. But then you have the cold, hard facts. You have claims that violate the laws of physics. You have a total lack of peer-reviewed evidence or independent proof. And most damningly, you have a revolutionary car that looks just like a Chinese EV and a free energy generator that looks identical to an off-the-shelf power pack you can buy online. Now, many of Chikambutso's supporters claim he's the victim of a conspiracy by big oil companies and Western governments trying to suppress his technology. This is a common defense in the world of free energy claims. And while it's an interesting thought, there's a principle called Occam's razor, which says the simplest explanation is usually the right one. And the simplest explanation here isn't a global conspiracy. It's a hoax. While the ambition was inspiring, the evidence overwhelmingly suggests that the Seth EV is not a breakthrough in physics. At the end of the day, the burden of proof in science isn't on the skeptics to disprove a claim. It's on the person making the extraordinary claim to prove it. Until Maxwell Chikambutso allows his technology to be openly and independently tested by credible experts, the Seth EV will remain an unproven wonder a captivating story, but not a proven technology. The quest for clean, limitless energy is one of the most noble pursuits of our time. But it has to be guided by rigorous science and transparency, not just inspiring stories. The tale of the Seth EV is a powerful reminder that when something seems too good to be true, it's our job to ask the tough questions. So, the final question is for you. Is the dream of free energy a noble pursuit that we should always encourage? even when some attempts fall short. 
Or do unproven claims like these ultimately do more harm than good by eroding public trust in science? Let us know your final thoughts down below. And thanks for watching.